Uh, so my name's Carmen Foskey. I am a student at UGA. I'm a junior, I believe, <laughs> and uh, I am studying general business. Well, my name is Morgan Balsam. I'm a third year here at UGA. I'm majoring in exercise and sports science, minoring in Spanish, and I'm intending to go to physical therapy school. So I have a lot of school ahead of me. <laughs> Uh, my name's Ji Hee Min, and I'm a second year, uh, second year here at UGA. Um, I'm double majoring in biology and psychology. Uh, like I said, I didn't go to school initially. I worked full time and lived on my own, and so I was very used to like prices of groceries and rent. And so when I came to UGA, purchased my first stack of textbooks and it equaled $500. That's a month of rent. <laughs> Along with the UGA tuition and living expenses, the books are, when it's 100 whatever dollars per book, it adds up a lot. Um, I don't like to buy textbooks because it feels like every semester they just change it and we can't reuse it. So I do tend to rent them, but even the rental price was about $100, which was ridiculous. And it was you know, hard for a college student to afford that every semester. Right now I'm taking anatomy and it has a free online textbook. I absolutely love it because first of all, it's free. I, if I need to like go anywhere, I don't have to carry this huge textbook with me. And I love it because I can just control F anything I need and I don't have to like flip through the book. So it's really quick and convenient and I absolutely love it. Online textbooks, the free textbooks, they're definitely very, very convenient and helpful to a lot of students because in my, like my case, um, some students may not be able to purchase specific textbooks or may have to use older textbooks and may not be able to um, get the same type of studying in and kind of the same type of experience that other students are having. Personally, my favorite aspect of open educational resources from both the perspective of a teacher and a student is that they can mix the resources and they can move chapters around and they can cut out chapters because the worst thing for a student is buying a 500 page textbook and using 50 pages of it and having to skip to the front and the back and not knowing where, where the class is. I know some people that have changed their major because that major cost them too much money. So free textbooks I think would definitely allow students to just do what they want to do if they're good at it without money being an issue. In higher institutions right now, academic freedom is the buzzword and uh, if and rightfully so, teachers can claim that using a full cost textbook is equally their right as using an open educational textbook, uh, but in my opinion, if you want full academic freedom, then you shouldn't be chained to a textbook company. You should have the opportunity to choose lower cost resources if they provide the same information to students.